All right, uh, this first poem is called uh, Three Girls on a Dirt Road in August. Each time pebbled as we pass the porch, the paint-weary, ugly eaves pant in the scorch of sun. From the shadows he rises, feeble and weary, the old man, tear tangled and throat scalded. He still sings to her all day long, though no eyes can see her but his. Dented gravel bucket near his stringing calf. He fingering the harsh, sharp stones and waiting in his hands, itching to fling them at us, percussive like bullets against our feet. Hop, dance, shriek, our arms and legs sting. Needles shock our softness. Appalled our innocence and thrilled at the skeletal specter of male impotence and rage, so livid at the look of us. At the commotion of our voices, chatter birds to rouse him to the imagined smell of our morning skin, our bare brown back, back curves in the noon sun. Return we do again to await his stone shower of fury, and again, lured and ensnared by the local his lost love legends. Some say she died sweet and good, some say by his own vengeful hand. Some say broken-hearted young man never able to love another. Some say cruel controlling monster who with violence claimed her for eternity. Some say his daughter loved a young man and left him bereft. Some say she fled because of dark secret wounds he inflicted. Oh, the horror of his dark heart. The passion, the drama, drive our dreams each night. And waking, furtive, full of fear and desire, each day we linger in front of his house. It's watching windows like the vulturine eyes of a predator, black and silent, but for the faint strangle of song within, until he emerges with his naked and beautiful ferocity. Loud, baffled boys pass with impunity and laugh at our shuddering delight. The shivers beneath our skin warn of danger, but we know not what to do but to run into its arms like horses to a burning barn. called Drinking Gin in a Kayak on a Still Lake in June. <laughs> the world above, the trees, even to the crisping of leaves at the edges, the tall grasses along the shore, the large silvery rocks, the empty Adirondack chairs, docks and sleeping boats, clouds, blue sky with streaks of soft pink, even the arc of a bird in flight, the race of a dog along the bank, my own foot over the side of the kayak, all twinned in the perfect mirror of the lake, an inverted universe, an exact upended replica. Then a fish jumps, or my hand falls into the water or the kayak rocks as I bring the glass to my mouth and the world below trembles, suddenly warps and wavers in fluid abstractions, swirls of color and shape, still head over heels, but incomprehensible chaos. <laughs> 